Before we begin, let's just take a moment to discuss a couple of things about where you should be before you start with this particular Dreamweaver CS6 video tutorial. As you can see here on the KillerSites.com homepage, if you click on the Web Designer link right at the top, you can see by this learning roadmap that you should have a good foundation of HTML and then CSS. Now while Dreamweaver is going to help you to do this without necessarily needing to know how to code, it's really important that you have a good foundation of what HTML is and what CSS is. So, if you haven't already gone and checked out some of the KillerSites.com tutorials that deal with those topics more specifically, then you should do so before starting with this particular video tutorial. However, as I mentioned, Dreamweaver is a WYSIWYG application. And what that means is, what you see is what you get. For example, if we were to look at a particular website online, it looks pretty good, it's got text and pictures and some links and stuff like that, but what's really making this page run is the HTML code underneath it. It's almost as if this is what the car looks like on the outside, but if you want to see what makes this car run, you gotta lift up the hood and check out the engine. Now I'm in Google Chrome. This particular browser will allow me to right click and choose inspect element. When you're inspecting the elements, you can see here that it's giving you information about this particular web page, showing you the open and closing head sections, the body section, and the open and closing HTML tags. Within the body section, there is a header div with an open and closing tag, and if you open that up, you can see that there's a H1 tag in here, so a headline, and we also have a navigation div and inside there there are unordered lists so it's a pretty good idea to become much more familiar with how these things work a good understanding of HTML will really help you whenever Dreamweaver doesn't do exactly what you want it to do sometimes the only thing that you can do is to actually get under the hood and change the oil yourself so if I switch over to Dreamweaver you can see here that this is the basis of a HTML page. Open and closing HTML tags, open and closing body tag, open and closing head tag. Within the body, that's where we introduce other types of tags, like paragraphs. And every time we do, we usually will have an open and closing tag. This is the foundation of HTML. But as I mentioned, Dreamweaver is a WYSIWYG environment, so usually what you see here is what you're going to get inside your browser, as opposed to having to write it by using code. But even though Dreamweaver will allow me to press the return button and I can just write out another paragraph and keep doing that as I go along, when I look at my code view, Dreamweaver has introduced three paragraphs just by doing that. So while we do have the WYSIWYG capability inside of Dreamweaver. I'm going to make sure that you have at least a little bit of an understanding of what's going on. And that's why whatever we do in our design view will always be looking inside of our code view to make sure that we know exactly what's going on. One other thing that I want to mention to you is how to save your files. And when you are saving your files, you should be doing it with a particular naming convention. So for example, if I were to save this file on my desktop and giving it any name, there's a few things that we should remember. Number one, don't use special characters. Now special characters are, well, basically anything that's not an alphanumeric value. So as you can see here, all of these would be special characters. I would never give it a name. Also don't leave spaces in your name. If you have a file called red space dog dot html that might give you some problems down the road. The only special characters that are acceptable are the underscore or even the hyphen. So rather than leaving a space inside of your name it's much better to use a hyphen or an underscore. 
Now these naming conventions apply to all types of files when working in HTML. And that means whether you're saving an HTML page or whether you're creating a folder or whether you're using an image, you must adhere to these simple rules. Well now that we've dispensed with some of the formalities, let's jump right into our next video and start looking a little bit closer at Dreamweaver CS6.